Happy Labor Day, my dolly friends. It's Gina. Welcome to Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. And I am going to um, wish you all a, in the United States and just to all of my friends from around the world, happy Monday. To everyone in the United States, happy Labor Day. If you all enjoy my content and you want to see more, please just, um, I invite you to hit the like button, hit the, uh, which is the thumbs up button, or as Merida from Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery would say, give it the finger. But don't really give it the finger. Just give it the thumbs up. And um, please subscribe. Also, I'm going to ask you to, if you have not already, please go over and subscribe to Melissa at Let's Play, if I can speak, Let's Play Dolls. Melissa, it's not, not Let's Play Dolls and Piano. She's just Let's Play Dolls. And uh, she's 19 subscribers away from getting 1,000. And I just really want her to hit that 1,000 mark because she is such a sweet, kind, and fun lady. She has beautiful babies. She has Ashton Drake. She has Paradise Gallery. She has Reborns. She has Silicones. She is kind and loving and generous, dresses her dolls in beautiful clothing. She crochets and makes a lot of their outfits. She's learning to sew. I mean, she's just really a neat person. And she always, or not always, but she often reads um, a devotion. And she also, um, she does Dolly Sunday School. And so anyway, she's just a neat person. So let's just get her a thousand subscribers guys so again please go over if you have not already go over to let's play dolls and subscribe all right um what i'm doing today is i want to do a tag and this is a bunch of questions it is pumpkin patch this or that and it was brought to us by Lisa's Littles. Number one, corn maze or sunflower maze. Well, I'm going to pick corn maze. I don't think I've ever been through a sunflower maze, although that sounds really, really fun. But I don't, I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, and by the way, who am I holding today? I'm holding the Prince Henry sculpt by Andrea Arcello. And he is my Michael. So, and that's who I've got because he's not been on for a little bit and he needed to be held and rocked by mommy. So anyway, back to the questions. I would do a corn maze. Number two, large pumpkins or small pumpkins? Well, when my kids were little, we always had to have a large pumpkin, always. And I always went for large pumpkins. But now I like small pumpkins. And often I don't even carve them. I just set them out as a fall decoration. There is a very rare occasion where I might draw a face on it, but generally speaking, I just set them out near like some mums or something and we're called, that's it. Okay, so small pumpkins. Number three, pumpkin pie or pumpkin bread? Oh, that's hard. I like both quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to pick pumpkin pie. I, I would choose pumpkin pie. Number four, candy apples or caramel apples. Well, I'm going to go for the caramel apples. They're not as hard. The candied ones are like the outer shell seems harder. Number five, apple cider or apple juice. Apple cider, definitely apple cider especially 
when it does start to get cold and I can warm it up, oh, nothing like a little bit of warm apple cider. Okay, number six, gourds or Indian corn. I always used to hang, I, I like both, and I because the Indian corn is so pretty, I always used to hang it on my front door. But now that I live in a condominium and I put something up on my front door, but just the people that live in my building see it. So I'm gonna go gourds because I always had both. But now when I decorate, I will buy gourds. Okay, number seven, a hayride or a pony ride. Hayride all the way, preferably pulled by horses. Love a hayride. Um, number eight, petting zoo or pig races. Petting zoo, definitely the petting zoo. Love to go in, pet the little animals, touch them, hold them, feed them if we can. I, yeah. The petting zoo definitely is. You're going to fall down, baby. Mama needs to support you better. I know you've got Spotty, your giraffe, with you. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have Spotty, don't you, Michael? Don't you, baby boy? Yeah. You want to? Okay, guys. Well, this is about all I have for today. So, um, did you hear? about the teenager who failed his driving test. He thought it was a crash course. <laughs> Guys, happy Labor Day. If you're coming in from out of town, be careful coming in. Those of you who are here, I hope you have time to enjoy family and friends, perhaps a barbecue, or maybe just completely relax and do nothing. But happy Labor Day. And remember that no matter what you're going through, God loves you and he's always there for you. Take care, my Dolly friends. Bye-bye.